Happy fall, y'all. Well, when you see this next spread, you're going to want to head to the craft store ASAP. Two ladies from Pretty Together, Jen Richmond and Liz Sloan, are here with us on how to make some craft items for the fall that won't break the bank. And ladies, this looks phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> you all have really done a modern boho look with this spread. What did you guys do to make this come to life? Well, we started with some dried florals, yep. and then we have dyed some of them. We've dried some oranges, we've dyed some beads, and we're here to kind of tell you how to do some of these things. I am a fan. So when it comes to drying the florals, let's start there. How did you guys do that? Well, we didn't. We okay. cheated. <laughs> but let's start there. We cheated. We bought already bleached dried florals. And okay. so these are bleached, and that's important because you want them to take the dye. Yep. And I'm, you can get these from oh, Hobby anywhere, Lobby, Michaels. Anywhere, okay. anywhere. Um, here's the thing. You can actually buy dyed, dried florals. That's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> um, and this is more for people that are crazy like me that need a particular color because it's they can't ever find the one thing that they that already they have want. in their mind. Mm -hmm. That's how I am, too. I'm going to go that extra mile. So anyway, these, this is actually super simple. Like, you just dye these like anything else. This is just writ dye. You're going to submerge it. It's as easy as one, two, yeah. yeah. So we're going to let that three. sit in there, and it's going to turn out pretty and purple and wine colored and which is gorgeous and this is rip dye with like hot nearly boiling water okay basically yep. did you all mix um, two colors yep. or so is this just we one mixed color? these two colors in there but these are two of the colors we've used to make like these different colors of beads right okay. the um eggplant oh, and the merlot or wine gorgeous, whatever you call it. gorgeous gorgeous <laughs> and so we have the flowers here mm -hmm. And these are just beads that you all bought. Yeah. Dyed so, out as well. These were just wooden beads that are untreated. Like they don't have any like coating on them, making them glossy. And they've literally just been dumped in a bucket of dye just like that to make them whatever colors you want them to be. Oh my gosh. So you're not it's limited. It's as easy as one, two, three. It really is. <laughs> you guys make crafting digestible for <laughs> the non-crafters out there. Here's the deal. I don't have that much patience. So things like cross stitch and whatever, like those people, nope. I give them credit. My DIYs need to be like, let's get this done. Let's, let's get her done. <laughs> and you can do this with the kids, which is nice. Yeah, absolutely. So how did you guys dry oranges? oranges. So insanely easy. So. I would say the biggest thing here is to try to cut them um, about a, it's possible. about a fourth of an inch um, and as even as you can get them. So if you cut them kind of unevenly, that's what happens here, even though I don't mind this look. Mm -hmm. Like that means this side was thinner and the rest of it was thicker. So okay. some of it cooked faster than another. It goes in the oven at about 250 for about three hours. And you'll want to kind of flip them around and move the trays around a little bit, but just laying on parchment paper in the oven and you'll get dried oranges. And which, I'm sure the house smelled. It did. It smelled, yes, it smelled so like so we were good. making candy, didn't it? Smell like yes, candy? It, it was crazy. Like candy. <laughs> oh, I bet it smelled amazing. So okay. there's so many things you can do with the dried oranges. And um, these are just the basis for the garland. Yeah, so we made it into a garland. I'm not sure if I have an end here, but um, you can kind of see how this comes together. It is not complicated at all. You need twine, you need some wood beads, and you need some dried oranges and so a and needle. So the needle is important. So I'd say that's the toughest thing to find out there in the world is you're going to need a pretty big needle, right? Because the eye is going to have to fit twine through it. So it can't be a normal size needle. Okay. And when you, what are you using the needle for? I know that might seem well, here you go. like Chelsea, a silly question, a but... And then that's going to go on. And then here, let's put on a little guy. Oh, so you can't just... <laughs> Yeah. Because you know it'd be right. tough to get the twine through. <laughs> it would be through. very hard to get that through. And we'll just here put up one more of these guys, and then we'll switch to an orange. That makes it so much easier than trying to yes, stick the yes, twine exactly, through that right? little bitty hole. And so then with the orange, you're just going to kind of go through one side with, the, with it. Just like you're sewing. Yeah, and then back through the other side. I'm glad my, my Girl Scout education is and then in. There you go. Slide it all down. <laughs> We're going like, to give you a patch at the end. Well, You're so making a there you go. I'll it's get my that crafting simple. patch. I love so. that. And then just to dress up these other items, did you guys just go through Hobby Lobby, Michael's, any local craft stores, and yeah. just pick the things that you wanted to 
make your absolutely face come to life. I mean we actually started with a color scheme that's how all this came together we were just like what do we want to do and here we are here we are I yeah. love it <laughs> we started like dipping things in vats of dye and my husband's like what are you guys doing in the back we're making basically. magic like, happen yeah, exactly we're making hey she got a pair happen. of pants out of it so I did I got some dye on my pants so then yeah. I just looked at Jen and I was like I'm just gonna strip and I took my pants off and I threw them in the Merlot dye and so now I have like plum color okay pants. so you have to wear the plum color <laughs> pants the next time you come on the show well if you're interested in any of their amazing crafting ideas recipes just a beautiful Instagram feed the ladies at Pretty Together can give you all of that. You can show them some love on Facebook and on Instagram at Pretty Together on Facebook. And we are Pretty Together on Instagram. Their website is also prettytogether.com. This has been another edition of Happy Fall, y'all. Oh, I love crafting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere in St. Louis. We'll be right back after this quick break.